In this video I'll be capturing an impulse response of my Bandive Great British Spring Reverb. This is a stereo reverb from 1982 using the IR measurement device in Ableton Live. Create an audio track, insert the IR measurement device on the track. You'll find that in Packs, Places and then in the bottom of that folder you can see IR measurement device. Route the inputs and outputs of the audio track to go to and from your hardware device. And then on the IR measurement device, click on Sweep. You'll see the progress bar at the bottom there on the left hand side. The process takes around 30 seconds to 40 seconds to complete. And if you're capturing a stereo device, you'll see that it sweeps the left and right sides individually and then both of them together. Once the process is complete, you'll see that the measurement progress bar turns blue. Click on Measurement Done and you can now save your file. Name your file and you'll see that it saves the left and the right sides independently. You should now have two AIF files, left and right. Create a new return track and insert Convolution Reverb Pro on it. Now all you need to do is drag and drop the files you created onto the Convolution Reverb Pro window. And that's all there is to it. So just remember to save your Convolution Reverb Pro settings so that you can recall that for later use. And now you can hear an A-B comparison of the actual Bandai of Great British Spring Reverb hardware insert versus the Convolution Reverb impulse response capture. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.